Hello you guys, welcome back to another slow cooker Sunday. So today we are doing all appetizers and I actually like to have these recipes for dinner. They're quick, they're easy, and they're delicious, but they're also perfect if you're having some kind of get together, maybe a backyard barbecue. So tonight we're doing chicken nachos. So we like to put ours over tortilla chips, but this would also be really good in a taco. So maybe just sit out your crock pot with some chicken and put your toppings around it with some chips. You could also do some taco shells so whatever you want to do I think you can have a lot of fun with this recipe so I'm gonna go ahead and flip you all around and we are gonna get started okay so I'm gonna put three chicken breasts in the bottom of my crock pot I did trim these up just a little bit and then I'm going to do one jar of this salsa con queso I'm gonna dump it in you can also do a jar of regular salsa in here you could do a can of Rotel I'm gonna leave it as is, and then I'm gonna do some chicken taco seasoning, pouring that right in. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of chicken broth. I would say probably about a cup, maybe a half a cup. And then stir this in just for a second. I'll come back and stir this again a little bit later. We're going to pop the lid on. And this is gonna cook on high. I'm getting a little bit of a later start for about four to five hours. Okay, so this has been cooking for about four and a half hours and I think it's done. I really wish y'all could smell just how good this is. Um, so I'm just gonna shred this up and then I'm going to plate it. I am actually gonna do nachos for myself, but my husband preferred his on a tortilla, so he's gonna do some chicken tacos. I love this recipe for that reason because it is so versatile and you can kind of change it up and do it however you like. So I'm going to shred this and then we are going to put it over our plate of chips and then I'm going to do some toppings as well. this really fast because I didn't add in any salsa or rotel usually if I have some salsa I'll add it in there so I'm curious because that's usually how I do it so I am gonna taste test it mm. still very good I think I might even like it better without the salsa I don't love just like big chunks of things um, unless I can kind of like add it myself but Anyways, that recipe is so stinking good. Like I said, I love how versatile it is. My husband's going to do some tacos. I'm going to do it like this. And then Noah will probably just have some chicken and cheese and maybe some tomatoes on the side. So perfect for the whole family. But I will leave this recipe linked down below for you guys. And we are going to go eat and enjoy this good food. Tonight we're doing some barbecue chicken in the crock pot. And then later on, we're going to shred it up and put it on some slider buns. So barbecue chicken sliders, I think this is a great appetizer, but we love to have this for dinner. It's so quick and easy, like two to three ingredients, so you really can't go wrong either way. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip you all around and I'm gonna show you all exactly how to make it. Okay, so I have three chicken breasts. It was really two, but they were so big, I kind of just trimmed them up and cut one in half. Um, so anyways, those in the bottom of your crock pot, and then I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. This is our favorite, but of course use whatever you have um, or whatever your favorite is. You could also make this um, healthier with like a sugar-free option. So do whatever you have on hand. I'm just gonna do quite a bit of this in here. Probably, it's probably about two cups or so. And then flip your chicken. Sorry if y'all hear Noah. He's playing. And I'm gonna do a little bit more. All right, pop the lid on and cook this on, I'm cooking mine on high for about four hours. Okay, so this has been going for at least four hours, probably a little bit longer. And I'm just going to shred this chicken up and then this is all I'm doing. So very 
easy two ingredients um, just your chicken barbecue sauce and then we're gonna put this on some sliders so this is a little difficult to do one-handed so I'm gonna go ahead strut this up and then I'll show you all the sliders here in just a minute okay, so for my sliders I picked these up in the deli section at Walmart they are just yeast rolls very good and then I cut them in half and I just put my chicken right in here and I tried to layer it up pretty good so they're pretty tall these are really filling um, you could do some coleslaw some beans on the side maybe some dips you could really take this up a notch um, by adding those extra things but this is all we did these are so good and I love how simple they are um, I am gonna have my husband taste test it for you guys I know y'all love to see that, so I'm going to bring him in real fast and let him try them. Um, but yeah, love how simple they are, so this recipe is linked down below. Alright, so I'm excited about this. I've been smelling it ever since I got home. It smells awesome. I might make a little bit of a mess here. <laughs> yeah, I don't have like any coleslaw or anything to go on it. It's just pretty simple barbecue chicken, mm -hmm. but it does smell good, so. <laughs> That's good, yeah. Yep, it smelled great and it tastes even better. So good. It's a winner. There you have it. That is going to wrap up today's video. I know only two recipes this time, but I think they were both really good ones. So hopefully it will hold you over until the next slow cooker Sunday, which is coming up very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, I would love for you to stick around. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye guys.